Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate return on common equity. To calculate a return on common equity, you need two financial statements. One is statement of profit and loss account and the second one is in a balance sheet. So using these two financial statements of our two real companies, I will show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret return on common equity in this lecture. Return on common equity is calculated as profit for the year minus preferred dividend this upon average common equity. So here we consider only the uh, common equity that is average common equity which includes your uh, issued and subscribed equity capital plus other equity belongs to the common equity holders. So uh, I'll explain you this with uh, two examples one is a uh, uh, Kotari Products Limited and here is the statement of profit and loss for the two financial years 31st March 2020 and 2019 so here you will get a profit for the year so this is 3403 lakhs and 2036 lakhs there is a increase significant increase in uh, profit for the year of the company then we look at uh, the common equity so here is you have a equity share capital and for the both the years the equity share capital is the same that is 2,984 lakhs and other equity we have 87,371 and 84,328 is the other equity then uh, so particulars of equity share capital is uh, here now using this we'll calculate the return on common uh, equity for the two financial years so return on common equity as the company do not have any preference shares we don't need to bother about preference dividend so all the profits are belongs to the equity shareholders that is the common equity shareholders only so this is for the two financial years 2019 and 2020 so this is a profit for the year that is net income or you can say profit after tax 2036 crore and here this is a 3403 sorry this is uh, all the amounts are in rupees lakhs then your common equity have a common equity of uh, 2984 for both the years 2984 and 2984 to get a more uh, conservative you need to consider other equity also other equity which belongs to the equity common equity shareholders so that is 87,371 and 84,328. 84,328 and uh, 87,371. 87,371. So first we summarize these two values to get the value of a common equity. Now using these values we will calculate uh, return on common equity. So your return on common equity this is for the financial year 2019 so 2036 upon 87312 into 100 so 2.33% 2.33% for 2019 and for 2020 this is uh, 3403 upon 90355 into 100 so 3.76 so there is an increase in a uh, return on common equity however if you exclude other uh, equity and consider only the common equity then this would be 3.2036 upon 2984 into 100 so 68.23% 68.23 percent just if you are considering only the issued and subscribed uh, common equity then in another year 3403 upon 2984 into 100 so this is 114 114 percent is the return on common equity for the financial year uh, uh, 2020 so you need to be very careful whether to consider only the issued and subscribed common equity or the other other equity also that is uh, which includes your reserves capital then retained earnings and all 
so to have a more conservative approach it is always better to consider other equity which is uh, which includes retained earnings reserves and uh, surpluses because that is the amount that amount is also belongs to the equity uh, shareholder that is a common equity shareholders now why this uh, sudden increase uh, or why this increase in uh, return on common equity is you can attribute this to increase in uh, revenue no there is a decrease in uh, revenue uh, but there is an increase in other income so you need to look at the balance uh, notes for this and see that where from this other income has come for this particular uh, company similarly there is a decrease in your expenditure also that is purchase of a stock in trade there is a uh, decrease so these factors have influenced the return on common equity of kotari products limited similarly here we have another company whose annual report is presented here this is a pressman and in this case if you see the profit before tax that is uh, and profit after tax so if you look at the profit after tax this is 532.24 and 654.96 this is again in rupees lakhs and uh, look at the common equity so your equity share capital is 496 sorry 469.66 and 469.66 so there is no change in uh, common equity of this uh, stock and other equity there is an increase in uh, other equity this is maybe because of a retained earnings so to know that you need to uh, look at the annual uh, that is a annual report or a balance sheet of the company and why the increase in other equity so this other increase in other equity may be due to uh, retained earnings so using these values now we calculate uh, uh, return on common equity so for financial year 2019 and uh, 2020 so for financial year 2019 this is 654.96 and 532 2.24 and common equity uh you can say 3000 just we'll add these two values here so 470 will make and 3475 and uh, 470 here also and 3340 3945 and 3810 so 3810 and 3945 lakhs this is Uh, profit after tax as uh, there is a no preference shares no preference dividend is deducted from this and this is a total equity so if you consider only common equity then uh, you need to take the value of a 469 only so this is uh, 650 654.96 upon 3810 into 100 so 17.19% 17.19 percent here, and for 2020, 532.24 upon 3945 into 100, so 13.49, 13.49 percent. So there is a decrease in return on a common equity. So this decrease in common and equity can be attributed to decrease in your uh, decrease in your revenue, and also decrease in uh, other income. and on the other side uh, this uh, cost of services and all this decreases may be related to the re uh, revenue from operations the costs are also decreased but the main reason for uh, decrease in return on common equity is revenue uh, decrease in revenue from operations and decrease in other income which ultimately affected the equity shareholders uh, uh, or common uh, shareholders return on equity so this is how you need to calculate return on a common equity and uh, uh, interpret the results so each company may have a different uh, rates of returns uh, return on common equity here it is a 17.319% and 13.49% for the pressman and on the other hand for kotari products so this uh, here we have a 68% and 114% so uh, the return on common equity vary from one company to another company depending on their uh, revenue from operations and depending on their uh, total equity and depending on their common equity thank you thank you for watching the lecture